the Shred Shed Podcast. Yo, what up? This is Earl Shreds, boy. And Sydney Shreds. Ooh. And this is your number one podcast. For all things rock and roll, music, or just plain awesome. Y'all don't forget to follow me on TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, whatever you got, at Earl Shreds. And don't forget to check out the website, www.earlshreds.com. Thank I brought my research assistant. What's up, Connor Dadley? Connor D, what up? Love you, Connor. I wanted to ask him to come tonight, but... Why didn't you? I get tired of asking him. Ooh. (laughs) Connor Dadley. He makes me feel desperate. Oh, I probably should turn that down. Connor just sent you 99 stars. Dude, thank you, Connor. You're the best. Got 99 stars and not one for me. I got 99 stars and Sydney ain't one of them. I guess we'll start. It's good to be back. We haven't done a podcast since last week, right, honey? Mm-hmm. Hello, everybody. If you're on live, if you're on TikTok, <coughs> um, I think I just set up the new subscriber system on TikTok. And uh, if you are on TikTok and you're in for Miller, this is the Shred Shed Podcast. If you're on Facebook or um, YouTube or Twitter, this is the Shred Shed Podcast. I'm Earl Shreds. This is Sydney Shreds. Any new fans that are uh, in the chat, watching live on any social media, hello. Anybody that listens to the podcast on streaming service, thank you so much. Y'all are awesome. Uh, Follow the YouTube channel. I post in uh, 4K, high-quality, edited, um, like 15-minute clips. And the full-length episodes. I do not have a separate clips channel. Oh, she scared me. The YouTube channel is uh, Earl Shreds. I'm not big enough. She walked by. She's probably just being interested. The Earl Shreds YouTube channel is uh, where all of the Shredshed podcast stuff is hosted at. Um, again, this podcast is held sponsored by my band, the Gulf Coast Drifters. Oh, let me, hold on. I'm going to look this up real quick because I'm, I'm getting professional around here. I'm not playing no more games. I brought my lab, I brought my laptop today. How are you doing, honey? I'm good. I'm better now. (laughs) Now that you had an apple? Mm-hmm. And I'm sitting down for the first time since I've been here. Yeah, so again, this podcast is held sponsored by the Gulf Coast Drifters, the band I'm in. I'm the lead guitar player. Looking at the show schedule on the Gulf Coast Drifters Music.com, we have got the Barn Whiskey Bar this Saturday, the 14th. Very excited. We're opening for... Uh, Chad Cook Band, yeah. right? Yeah, that's going to be awesome. I don't know any details about time or nothing like that. but uh, So don't come at me, but it says the what? Barn Whiskey Barn. And then Saturday on... I'm going to change my shirt because this is my work shirt. Okay, and then Saturday we have the HLSR Houston Go Texans, the Atrium Center. Next Saturday. That's next Saturday, January 21st. Uh, New Caney or something? I don't know. The Atrium Center, 21575, US 59. New Caney, Texas, baby. I love New New Caney, Texas. is just one of the most beautiful places you could ever be in your entire life. And then February 11th, we have the shoot. That's pretty awesome. 10 p.m., and this Friday, we also have, uh, hold on, let me turn the other mic down. What you say? Uh, this uh, Friday, we have a show that's not on the website. Honey, honey, I'm trying to do this podcast. Come on. It's at the Humble Rodeo. In the Whiskey Club. I don't know if it's a private event or what, but 
if you can get in, you should get in because it's a tent hosted by the Whiskey Club. So if you're in Houston, you come to the Humble Rodeo, um, and you know anybody with the Whiskey Club or like the Whiskey Association, we'll be playing there. I think later in the evening, like eight or something. I don't know, something like that. But that's an, I mean, you know, it's the freaking whiskey club, so you know that that's going to be a gnarly time. Hold on, let me see if I can pull the chat up too. I'm sorry. Oh, hold on. There we go. Hey, can you shut that uh? Curtain. Sorry, everybody. Uh, uh, Sydney is doing something. Oh, there it is right there. Yeah, there we go. I think that I don't know if the chat works or not. Whatever. I know the chat. Hey, what's up, everybody? Hello. Um, so, yeah, Friday at the Humble Rodeo in Humble, Texas, at the Whiskey Club tent. And I am very excited for that. I'm definitely going to drink some whiskey. This podcast is also helped brought to you by Tim's Tiny Trucks, baby. That is Tim's Tiny Trucks. And the motto you know is, not everything is bigger in Texas, baby. And that is absolutely true with Tim's tiny trucks. Not everything is bigger in Texas. Ain't that the truth? Wow. Tim's tiny trucks is located at 23402 FM 2100 Huffman, Texas. Call or text 346-353-MINI. That is 346-353-MINI. Let's look at what he's got going on. He's got a gallery. If y'all don't know, Tim Sonny Trucks, he recently, uh, last year, opened up a physical location, and that is the address. Oh, I'm looking through the uh, the gallery of trucks. He got the buck. <laughs> if y'all don't know what a tiny truck is. I like Janice. Where's Janice at? It's the oh, I do like Janice, too. That's a cute-looking tiny truck. Oh, so if you're in the market for a four-wheeler or side-by-side for the deer lease, for the ranch, uh, just you got a lot of land, you like to drive around, Tim's Tiny Trucks are air-conditioned and street legal and drive like a regular car. So you can drive around the ranch. He's got them four-wheel drive. You can buy one off the lot. You can buy them customized, but it's a great alternative to four-wheelers or side-by-sides especially if you live in Texas during the summer, you're going to want that AC. I know you are, no doubt. So again, that's Tim Sunny Trucks at 23402FM2100, Huffman, Texas. Call 346-353-MINI. Make sure if you do buy a Tim Sunny Trucks, tell him Earl Shred sent you to get the truck, and you're going to get a free Tim Sunny Trucks t-shirt and a free Earl Shreds merch package with your purchase of a Tim's Tiny Truck. So, y'all check it out. I'm looking at the website. It's timstinytrucks.com. Awesome vehicles. I really, one day, I will have a Tim's Tiny Truck that has Earl Shreds, uh, maybe like a van. Mm -hmm. I mean, hold on. I want to look at Janice, dude. She's cute. Do we get more? Yeah, look at the red one. (gasps) Oh. Birdie, yeah. oh, look, he's got flatbed. I liked the green one they used to have. Mm, that one sold quick. Yeah. My mic wasn't working. Oh, your mic's not working? Test one, two. Oh, you're muted. Oh, you're muted. Yeah, that's good. Oh, I turned you down. I'm sorry. Go ahead. Check, mic check. Yeah, that's better. Yeah, there's a lot of outside noise because y'all were goofing. Avery's. Okay, and you can get one with a hydraulic lift on the back, too. That's awesome. So, y'all check it out. Thank you to all our awesome sponsors. We love y'all. And today, if you notice from the cover, you know, this is episode 30 of the Shred Chef Podcast, and we're going to dedicate this to one to no doubt, one and only, 
Jeffrey Arnold Beck, a.k.a. the GOAT Jeff Beck. Rest in peace. Very sad. Very sad. He had um, meningitis. I know, bacterial meningitis. And he passed away peacefully in his sleep. And his family would like some privacy at this time. He is... For anybody that is a guitar player, we know that Jeff Beck is absolutely a legend, no doubt. He is going to be severely missed. I will miss him. <coughs> Wasn't he in that power group? Like, what is it like? Yeah, I believe he was in the Yardbirds with um, Jimmy, like Jimmy Page. Page. Yeah. yeah. And I mean, somebody else. I'll read this. Will, we'll read a little bit off his Wikipedia. <laughs> Everybody knows Wikipedia is not reputable. For politics. It's fine. I'm artist. Jeffrey Honor Beck was an English rock guitarist who rose to prominence with the Yardbirds and afterwards fronted the Jeff Beck Group and Beck, Bogart, and AP. Sorry, this is British language. <laughs> In 1975, he switched to mainly instrumental style with a focus on innovative sound and his releases span... Genres ranging from blues rock, hard rock, jazz fusion, and a blend of guitar rock and electronica. He did, he was, he dabbled in the electronic music. Beck ranked in the top five Rolling Stones and other magazines list of a hundred. Oh, I'm sorry. I lost my. And a hundred greatest guitar players. He was often called a guitarist guitarist. Wow, what a great. He was a, he was a working man's guitar player. Rolling Stone described him as one of the most influential lead guitarists in rock. Although he recorded two hit albums in 1975 and 1976 as a solo act, Beck did not establish or maintain the, sens- the sustained commercial success of many of his contemporaries. And he did record with many artists. Screw you, Wikipedia. Come on. He won a Grammy for the best rock instrumental performance six times. And the best pop instrumental performance once. In 2014, he received the British Academy's more European language for outstanding contribution to music. And he was inducted in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame twice as a member of the Yardbirds and as a solo artist. Rest in peace. We will miss you, Jeffrey, no doubt. He was born 24th of June in. Wallington, Surrey, England, and died the 10th of January in Sussex, England. Looking through some pic, look how old he is. Yeah, here he is with the Yardbirds. He was the GOAT. I mean, obviously, you don't get to play with Jimmy Page for um, for nothing, you know. Yeah. I don't know if the chat works, so. On what? Oh, on any of it. I'll, it's not a big deal. Um, obviously, because what's his, uh, Connor was commenting. Oh, okay, cool. <clears throat> Hold on, let me turn you up. I can't keep bending over. Yeah, I can turn you up. It's okay. That's good. Oh, yeah. I can, <laughs> I can just whisper. Welcome to the <laughs> Ew. <laughs> Dude, earlier Tabby burped. <laughs> And it kind of almost made me puke. My, I have like a 10-pound schnauzer. And she was just walking around the yard and she went, Bleh. and I was like, it was kind of visceral, you know what I mean? Um, Anthony said the Truth album is where it's at, man. Jeff Beck and Rod Stewart. Is uh, the Truth album, what's a, hold on, let me. I'm not familiar with it. I got, I bet we know. The Truth album. Ah, that sounds so familiar. Oh, hold on. Album with Rod Stewart. I can hear Avery talking. Oh, I think... Okay, yeah, that's a great one. We got Truth, studio album by the Jeff Beck. We got Green Sleeves, Morning Dew. Anthony, what's the best uh, song? I'm trying to think of one I would know. Bex Bolero. I can't. Wait, what did the other one say? I can't read that far. Maybe, should I go tablet mode? Yeah, might as well. Oh, yeah, we better. Sorry. 
Rock My Plimsoll, <laughs> Blues Deluxe. Truth is the debut studio album by English guitarist Jeff Beck, released on the 29th of July, 1968, in the United Kingdom on Columbia Records. It was at Abbey Road, wasn't it? Morning Dew. He said Morning Dew is the best. I th- yeah, I, th- I was going to say, I think that's the one I know. I'm yeah, sure. it sounds familiar. I would play it, but um, copyright, boo-boo. <laughs> we should look up a Jeff Beck live. You can't play that either. No, you can play him live, as long as it's not from a company. Oh. It was like a cell phone. So technically, someone could have your stuff. Why is that light blinking? I know, it's probably an electricity cycle i'll turn it off if you're on the live stream it's gonna get darker sorry it like goes and comes like that's probably better yeah there we go yeah it was extremely bright so you got jeff beck performs what mama said on letterman he was a really crazy cool guitar player he did a lot of really weird stuff your elbow's really rough, and it's, like, scratching me. It's gross. I bought some dreads yesterday. No, you didn't. Yeah, not those really expensive ones I wanted, though. They came in. And what are you going to do with them? Put them on my hair. Is it, like, something you take off, or what? Yeah, you just braid them in. They're synthetic. That way I don't have to commit to dreading my own hair. Hold on, we got to lock someone in the TikTok. Give me, if anybody comments, who needs to be locked in the... Oh, we can get, we can get locked in. <laughs> um, Decaying Sky said hello. Hello, Decaying Sky. You're locked into the shred zone. And Yanlu10511 said J-I. Hi, you're locked in the shred shed. Oh. Ugh. Oh. Emma Gavin said, hi. Hello, Emma, what's up? You're locked in the shred zone. No love, Nia said hello with a bunch of hearts. Hello, you're locked in the shred zone. Y'all don't forget to subscribe. And if you're listening right now, this is the Shred Shed Podcast. Hey, Resonoris said, oh, the Resonoris said hello. Hello, hello, hello. Or hi, technically. Howdy, howdy, howdy. Nice to see you. Nice to meet you. You're locked in the shred zone. Emma Gavin said, I am sad. Why are you sad? Why are you sad, Emma? Don't be sad. We have jet. Look, we're going to do. I don't think this is a. Thanks, No Love Nia, for following. Yeah, thank you for following. Y'all don't forget to subscribe if you're on Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, or TikTok. Um, yeah, there's something wrong with my Instagram. If anybody is trying to follow me or interact or send me messages on Instagram, I cannot log in and they will not help me. I, I'm not, it wasn't hacked. I think it's just like a technical issue and I'm talking to them. Got lots of questions. But, well, hold on. I got to tell, I forgot to say, I haven't posted. But if you message me on Instagram, I cannot read my messages right now. I can post reels and pictures, I think. But I cannot log on. I can do it from my business manager. I can post. So I still have the Instagram. It's still up. I'm trying to get login. It hasn't been deleted, but I'm working on it. Uh, I want to listen a little bit of Jeff Beck. She's a woman. Do you want me to read all these comments? Well, okay, we'll lock them in. Let's lock them in. No, they're like, okay, Emma said she has homework. Someone said they're just. Dis- the Rissa Norris said, I'm disappointed. Emma, do your homework. No, lo- no love, Nia said, are you guys married? Not trying to be rude. <laughs> no, we are not. Yes, we are. <laughs> well, yes. I'm, he's Earl Shreds. I'm Sydney Shreds. Um, ben Penn said, can you play smoke on the water for me? <laughs> I can play smoke on the water. <laughs> you asked for it, Ben. No this- love, Nia. Hi. You hit a wrong note in there. <laughs> Emma Gavin said, no. Hey, you She's asked the one that it. has to do her homework. Emma, do your homework. Nah, you don't have to do it. Yeah. Never... Homework's overrated. Yeah. All right. This I... is better. We're doing Jeff Beck. She's a woman. Let me listen a little bit of this. Give it to WSP. I don't know what that means. 
What's up? That means what's up. Ben oh. said he's satisfied with your smoke on the water. Thank you, Ben. I'll get my acoustic out one day. Can you play Astronaut on the Ocean? That's a rap song. Yeah. Ooh, In look, the ocean. Look at Danny. Wow. It says... Yeah, I don't know if you can play that rap song. Yeah, I, I'm an astronaut on the ocean. It's in. in the ocean. Dude, look at that shirt. Mm-hmm. He just lost, like, lots of people following or watching. Oh. <laughs> Ooh, there. Ooh, she's a woman. Okay, there it is. There it is. Mm. We're listening to Jeff Beck live from Sing the Beatles on BBC. Can you rate my T for P profile picture for me? Yeah, I'll rate it. <laughs> what? Click, I can't even tell what it cl- is. Click on uh, it and we'll rate it. Let me see it, though, before we rate it. We're rating profile pictures. It's kind of hard to see. What's the name? No Love Nia. Love Nia. No Love Nia. <laughs> Chapter 11, baby. You're locked in the shred zone. Does anybody else need to 10 out of 10, No Love Nia. Yeah, 10 out of 10, no doubt. There's your rating. What did I stumble upon? <laughs> You're the one... That or I was asking us to play Smoke on the Water. It's Playboy Cardi, the rapper. Yeah, I thought it was a rapper. I just couldn't tell who it was. It's so small. I can't see it. Hey, shout out. If anybody has seen, uh, I think it was like, it was Playboy Cardi's, it was like iconic, one of the greatest live shows. I think it was at Rolling Loud in like 2019. It kind of blew him up. And like people were getting, oh, had, did you ever hear about that? It was kind of what blew him up. And he, it was, I think he was playing at Rolling Loud on right before Taylor Swift. Ugh. And they're all the Taylor Swift fans, like, were calling in. <laughs> Ashton Painter said, I see toes, put them dogs away. Tell about your toes. Hey, they're, at least Ew. you can't smell them. I love Mia, LOL. But it's pretty crazy, dude. I, I want to play it right now, but I'm not. Ben, you're asking what you stumbled upon. Well, we normally have guests, musicians on here. And tonight it's just us two going live, talking to you guys. We usually keep it music related um, or we just talk about whatever. Oops. Yeah, we talk about everything. It's I'm very, I'm so sad that Jeff Beck has passed away. Yeah, he was old, though. I mean, what is bacterial? What's bacteri- Meningitis? It's like an infection in your neck, and your head. What are you guys doing? Um, we're just talking, hanging out tonight. What are you doing? Who is that? No Lepnia. No Lepnia? You're locked in the shred zone? She's been locked in. Oh, she's been locked in? We'll keep locking her in, no doubt. Yeah. Um, meningitis is when like, your neck gets really stiff. Nothing laying down. Wish I was laying down. Uh, can you trust the Mayo Clinic? Yep. Meningitis is an infection and inflammation of the fluid and membranes surrounding the brain and spinal cord. Told you. <clears throat> These membranes are called menin- meninges. <laughs> <laughs> meninges. <laughs> I can't see. I don't remember where. Oh, yeah, meninges. Menin- is that what it is? Yeah. Hey, shout out to anybody that's got... Well, good, uh, if you show me a picture of your meninges, I'll rate them. <laughs> I'm doing meninges rating. No, love me. I want to know your favorite food. Well, earlier I was eating an apple on here. Oh, my gosh. My favorite food. Oh, well, it's changed as I've gotten older. Oh, ribeye steak. <laughs> that's your favorite food? Well, probably. Um... I felt so bad, not last time, but the month before, I did, had my teledoctor 
meeting, <laughs> I was I just cooked some leftover ribeye and I was eating it. She was like, "Oh, what are you eating?" And I was like, "Um, I was like some ribeye and vegetables." And then I like pointed the phone camera and I was like, "Doesn't it look good?" And she was like. I'm vegan. I was like, oh, I'm sorry. That's probably disgusting to you. Oh, yeah. And she told me that's, like, red meat's terrible for you. She told me this. Yeah, she's a little. She said that. She's uh, a little something-something on that. I hope she's not listening, but. um, Yours is pepperoni pizza. Mm. I do love pepperoni pizza. That's my weakness. Ooh, I love. Shout out in the chat uh, what your favorite food is. I'm a big uh, seafood fan. I'm a big sea, sea food. <laughs> exactly. No, pepperoni pizza is the bomb. Where do you get it from? What's your favorite place to order your pizza from? Because I have a strong opinion about that. Oh, no. I scrolled. Oh, I was like, what? <laughs> All you had like 27 people. That's why I was like, stop playing and let me answer these questions. And now we're back to three. It's so man. I don't care. Pizza Hut. I, honestly, I don't really order Pizza Hut a lot. We order Domino's because it's right next to where we live. But I'm a Papa John's fan. I love Papa. I I like it because it was like a treat when we were younger because we we didn't have one, and when we went on vacation and we'd stay at the hotel. There's always a Papa John's near the hotel. So once we got there, we'd order Papa John's and eat it in the hotel room. Me, my mom, my dad, my brother. And uh, my mom always liked the garlic sauce that they had. And that was like a novelty item. Ooh, I like the garlic sauce, too. But yeah, Papa John's is probably my fave pizza. Oops. My name is Jeff. I hear a little Avery. You can open that uh, curtain if you want. Avery, you can open the curtain if you want. You told me to close it. Uh, that was earlier when y'all were giggling. I told her she could come in here if she wanted to. Hey, let's look at some, uh, this is also something I want to start doing, seeing as I play in a Texas country band. Let's see who's on the Texas music chart this week. Oh, this is an ad to get on it. I don't want to search up Lil Bill. Isn't Lil Bill the little cartoon character? Like, he's like Black Caillou. I'm pretty sure. What? I swear. I isn't, isn't he a cartoon? Like, and go on image. Are you setting me up for failure? Uh, we don't. I would never do that. Long way to Huntsville. Almost like halfway. They just put laughing faces. <laughs> what's a long way to Huntsville? I don't know. Oh, it's on, what's on. Uh, how do I see this? We got Jack Nelson. Nice. Hello, Jack. Oh, I bet I can look it up on... Um... Hold on, I gotta mute myself. We're looking up Texas music... Texas country chart. How do I search? There we go. It looks like you have a filter on your face. Like It's like going in and out. See? Did you see that? No, you gotta like look over there. <laughs> I don't know. You gotta look at my camera. Is somebody hacking in my stream right now? <laughs> that was weird. Again, guys, you're look you're listening to the Shred Shed podcast, and don't forget, I do master these and release them on Spotify and Apple Music. And does anybody listen to Pandora anymore? Oh, I forgot about that. I actually canceled my Apple subscription today. Why? Because I pay to have like two terabytes of of um, data, so that's ten dollars a month, and I pay ten dollars a month to have an Apple Music subscription, which I don't ever really use it. So I was like, you know what? Let's get canceled. And I had a Amazon Music or Prime Music subscription. That was ten dollars. Was like, Who nope. listens to that? Well, we you got it when you asked Alexa to play music. Oh, yeah. And I've been paying $10 a month for a year. That's like $120. Yeah. 
Yeah, times three. Okay, finally, I got the freaking Texas country music chart. Oh, here we go. All right, we got new on the chart. Here's a couple. Number 40 at Dante Morass with Go and Go and Bad Juju. What? Dante Morass? Dio, how do you say this? This name. Dio. I can't see because your head's in the way. You have to, I, I'm blind. D O N I C E. Oh, Donis? Don't, do not, Denise. Don, it's, no, Denise it, it's Denise. It's Denise. It is? Yeah. <laughs> With the O? Yeah, because I have a friend that spells it like that, and I used to call her Donice. <laughs> I had no idea. It's Don, Denise. Donice. Okay. Denise. <laughs> Well, she's got number 40 on the Texas music charts this week with Going Going and Bad Juju. Let's do, we'll do one more off the new on the charts. Anybody I know? Yeah, see if there's anybody familiar to us. The Teague Brothers Band? That sounds familiar. That sounds familiar. Hey, McBride and the Ride. <laughs> That's a pretty good band name. Sounds good. Oh, it's the label is Bad Juju. So there's Bad Juju label. That's a cool label. Here we got Chad Gra- Cook Band. Oh, Greatest Spin Increase, Chad Cook Band, Anderson County. Label is King Hall Music. That's awesome. I'm going to be opening up for them this Saturday. That's cool. And when most added, we got Donice. <laughs> Denise. <laughs> bubbling under hey rich o'toole's got love on a sunday way to go rich no two of them okay here's the charts you'll never guess who's number one um parker you looked i can't see that far okay it's not it's mike ryan number two oh. is parker with handle on you i don't know any of these songs Who's, who's next? Aaron Watson's at number three with The Old Man Said. I know him. I don't know that song. He's got 50 stations. He's been around for a while. I mean, Chad Cook's number 11 with Anderson County. John Wolf Beers, We Ain't Drank Yet. <laughs> and what, Slayer? <laughs> Slayers on there? <laughs> Shut up. Raining blood? What is that? <laughs> cannibal corpse. Is that cannibal corpse on the Texas music chart? <laughs> Whoa, that's crazy. I had no idea. They gone country. I've gone country. That's funny. Hi, Hayden Music for you. Hey, what was Little Bill that somebody said to look up? Search up Little Bill on images. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's that little... Cartoon character looks like Black Caillou. Lil Bill. Oh, it is. An American. Yes. Remember Lil Bill? I do remember Lil Bill. Yeah. This dude said I look like Lil Bill. No. (laughs) She just said, or he, I don't think it's a she though, said, can you search up Lil Bill? (laughs) Go on images. And then I said that and she started laughing. If you're only listening, look up Lil Bill. If you're a 90s kid, I guarantee Oh, that's why Bill Cosby was Captain Brainstorm. Yeah, he had a big old head. Yeah, I didn't. Can't say. Here's a top rated review for Little Bill. This show is very beautiful. Even when I watch the intro to the end, and when I hear him say, Hello, friend, it makes me cry. I like this show much. In grand total, I watch the intro. One million times. <laughs> That's was, a real review? This, yeah, he gave it five stars. This was the best show ever. Now I rarely watch TV because of Nick's, Nick Jr.'s. Because in all caps, Nick Jr. has CG animated Paw Patrol, which is so <laughs> garbage. And Nick has the bad sitcoms, except Drake and Josh. Zoe 101, iCarly, and Victorious. Every other live action show is garbage. I jumped to Cartoon Network and they 
also have trash shows. The only thing I actually watched was Boomerang and a little bit of Clarence. Good show for education. Wholesome stuff. 22 people found that. <laughs> wow. <laughs> that was a great review. Never, Not even going to lie. I've never been so motivated. <laughs> leave a review on. Uh, <laughs> it was really felt like passionate about a little bill. Yeah, I think that was like a Kill Bill kind of spinoff or something. How was your week, honey? It's only Wednesday. Yeah, I'm sorry, everyone. Um, I don't think we're going to have a guest this week. We were supposed to have one today, but he uh, had explosive diarrhea. (laughs) 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 And he couldn't make it. He was going to come. He actually did came. (laughs) (laughs) What? He did come, did. And... (laughs) Um, we were going to start, and then he explosive diarrhea all over the couch. And I haven't even cleaned it up. We're sitting in it now. Ew, that's so gross. It does suck. But so, are we still recording? <gasps> we're still recording. Yeah, gross. So, um, you had a good week? Yeah. It's been busy, but... We had no shows this weekend. That was kind of weird. It was extremely nice, like, mm-hmm. to not have to do anything for once. I really enjoyed it. Kind of made me sad, honestly. Well, it made me extra happy, so. Why? Because sometimes I just need a break. Like, I like doing stuff here. You don't want to go play at the dirty cornhole? or? Sometimes I don't like going to sit by myself in a corner at a dirty bar. Like, if nobody else goes that I know. Like, I have to sit there by myself for three hours. But you go to the dirty bars alone just regularly? I do not. Yeah, you leave me here alone all no. the time. I'm, I'm, I'm making the statement known that. What's up, dude? Is boy? Dude is boy. Oh, I love him. You're locked in the shred zone. Followed the host. What's up? What's up, dog? Thanks for the follow, big dog. I feel like I said that wrong. Dude, <laughs> I don't know. I'm drinking unsweet tea. Yeah. Let me know if anybody is watching this. The numbers are looking real weak as usual. Uh, or if you're watching this on the YouTube or posthumously on the streaming service, do we do sweet tea or unsweet tea? Sweet tea all day. George is sweet tea. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord this flower is wilting. Oh, gross. <laughs> um, I like hot tea too, though. Mm-hmm. And and green tea. But you like it um, sweet. I put some honey in it. That last time you tasted it, I had a little bit of honey left in the jar, but I couldn't get it out. So I put that hot water in it and shook it and poured it out, and it was way too sweet. JT and the Black Tops, what's up? JT, my dog, what is going on? JT, you are so locked into the shred zone right now. Mm-hmm. 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 Hee-hee. Mm-hmm. Hee-hee. Um... Uh, JT, let me know how, uh, dude, I wish I could have made it to the shred shed. The, yeah, the shred shed, buddy. Oh, on all caps, dude, big yeah. locked. You were absolutely the biggest locked. JT, how was the show on, um, Saturday? Let me know. It looked like it was a good time. I think little, little D-Town was there. Who? Uh, Dalton. D- oh, Dalton. Yeah, he's like a little, he's like a little... He like our little pit bull. He's just roaming around all all the town now. You know what I mean? Ever, ever since the he was on the podcast, he just been he just pops up. Yeah, uh, yeah. He sh- goes everywhere. He's always out and about. That's good though. He's getting his name out there. Yeah, playing I mean, all the open mics and hanging out with everybody. Yeah, that's think, what you got to do. Think about how his dad, dude. His dad's the uh, the OG for that, no doubt. Mm-hmm. For hustling him around. Can't say I'd do the same for my kid. <laughs> wow. Sold in the gritty via hello. <laughs> You're locked into the shred zone. Uh, let's look up. We're on Texas music news. I just wanna, just wanna see. Let's just look up like top charts and see who's on there. I don't like, want to know country. I don't really like know. all time. Yeah, I want to know what the kids are listening to. <laughs> what are you. you listening to, kids? Tell yeah. us. 
obviously you're not it's listening. Probably to your, people I don't know. I can I obviously know you're not listening to your teachers. <laughs> Spotify. I would like to know. Spotify top charts. Top charts. It's probably like uh Ooh, the top fifty global playlist. Who do you think's number one? I don't know, but I can't see. You don't need how do you like to look? It's probably someone I can't see. It's Kill Bill. <laughs> we were just talking about that. I don't know this song. I'm, I'm sure I don't know any of these songs. It's probably all like remix stuff. We can do 10 seconds of it. Oh, yeah, it's great. <laughs> I no wonder why it's number one. I love this one. Just a little silence. Oh. Okay, let's give ahead a little bit so we don't get caught. Yeah, that was creepy. This is what you listen to, kids? Hmm. Absolutely not. That has 6.7 What's million. What's up, Yacubi Lopez? And number two, we got Metro booming the weekend and 21 Savage. I'll get, I'll, I'm down with that. Let me do a little bit of this. in the middle I like The weekend. yeah that's a good song I know that one I saw him in concert he was great so we got Unholy oh I like that song it's uh, Sam Smith let's do let's do two seconds of it you know it play it no play the song play the beginning I can only hello Nicole Hernandez oh I do know this song at the body shop Doing something on. Yeah, <laughs> I can buy with that one. It's got 4.4 million plays on Spotify. I saw a TikTok come up and it was Sam Smith live, like at one of his shows singing that. Mm -hmm. And he was doing like the beginning part, like of him just a cappella singing. It was badass. Like, he, I, I was telling Megan the other day, like, I, I've never really listened to him. She really likes him. But that song, like, when I saw that come across my TikTok, like, he's got pipes. And he had on this cute little sequin um, outfit. It was like a onesie. What does he identify as? I don't know. I don't really listen to him. Hi, the lovely. Hello. Um, um, I think he's just gay. Can you say that? You think he's... I don't know. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. I mean, I, 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 don't, I really don't know. Like, I don't want to say... I know. I have to walk on eggshells. Um... But he uh, had on, like, a cute jumpsuit that was sequined. Oh, uh, was 21 there? Uh, I don't know. It was do just him thing, singing. Do your thing, 21. Do your thing. Oh, my gosh. 21. Do your thing, 21. If <laughs> if you're in the chat, give me a song. I'll sing it to you right now. Oh, I'll, I'll look up the lyrics. These are the kind of things I'll do for you on this podcast. Carrots. Carrots? I don't know. Something popped up. It said carrots on the top of this TikTok. Thank you for the carrots. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know if someone sent you carrots, but it, I don't know. I don't know. I don't understand how this works. Somebody explain this to me. I'm so confused. Why is my money now food? <laughs> That's what happens. I'm like not fully motivated today. I like used all my brain today. Yeah, I can tell. I know. I'm so, like dead. Sorry. I know. And this is the only one we're going to do this week. I'm so sorry. I'm trying. I'm really trying to pull something out here. And you said, no, don't, we don't need to do it tomorrow. Don't worry about it. I said you didn't need to do one at all this week. You don't really think so? I really don't. I have to do one. You don't have to. You, well, yeah, you can okay, do whatever I mean, you want to yeah, do. But... I, yeah, I can. <laughs> that kind of mentality will lead you under the bridge real quick. Yeah, I don't have to do anything. Next time Avery says I'm hungry, I'm saying... I don't have to feed you. That's not what I'm going to tell her, because I'm the one that feeds her. <laughs> I don't have to make you dino nuggets. Ooh. She told me, you know, the other day, she said she didn't like chicken nuggets. And uh, we were at Aldi, and I said, you want some chicken nuggets? She was like, no, I don't like chicken nuggets. I was like, what about dino nuggets? She was like, what's that? I was like, it's a chicken nugget shaped like a dinosaur. She was like, oh, yeah, I like this. Ooh. It was the same exact brand and everything. One was just shaped like a dinosaur. And she's told me like three times, and today she said... I love those dino nuggets so much. Can you make me some more? Oh, yeah. They they don't taste good unless they're shaped like Hi, extinct, uh, Gartisa. extinct animals. Um, but, yeah, she 
now she eats chicken nuggets because they're shaped like dinosaurs. Um, and I can't say I'm her because I eat them now too when I make them for her. Hi, user 35724711. Hello. <laughs> Hello, guys. Oh, Ben Penn's back. Smoke on the water. <laughs> he wants to hear it again? No, he was just the one that said it earlier. Uh, I'll give it to you again. <laughs> Shout out in the chat if you want free bird. Oh gosh. I'll give we could look. I mean You gonna hit the right notes this time? No. Probably not. Oh gosh. Give it to me. He said give it to me. That's not yeah, no. Shout it out in the chat, everyone. <laughs> We're gonna sing Free Bird, the guitar part. It's okay, you don't have to think about this. Hey, th I never claimed that this podcast was the next intellectual. <laughs> hey, kitchen, finally. <laughs> Dude, I was just about to say I miss my buddy Ryan. Yeah, he's watching on Facebook. Bye and bye, baby. Okay. It's a sweet love. Yeah. Sorry, Kitchen. I've been on the TikTok page reading those comments. There's too many places. <laughs> I've got to see. Oh, look. Ben Penn gave you a... Oh, a rock. And then... Oh, hard rock here. And we'll skip to the solo part. Uh... <laughs> Aren't you supposed to play that part? <laughs> That's the part you're supposed to be playing. I don't want to well, hear... I... Uh... <laughs> sounded better. <laughs> You know how you have a teeny violin? It's my teeny guitar. <laughs> okay, fine. We all... <laughs> <laughs> okay. Look, I'm honestly... I'm just going to hold the guitar because it gets me... Hi, Matthew, gets... kid. <laughs> I get you some people watching. Kitchen, like the live. What's up, Kitchen? Now he's on TikTok, so I don't have to keep switching back and forth. Yeah, I think it's we're, it's blowing up on TikTok today. I guess that's where yeah, it's Yeah, earlier at. it was popping, but you wanted to play Jeff Beck, so. <laughs> it always pops. There's, <laughs> bruh, I, dude, I heard on Joe Rogan, I was listening to that last one. He said there was this Instagram influencer who had like 3 million followers, and she did a merch line, and only 10 people bought them. Wow, it's probably really expensive. Ryan just got the number one gifter badge. What's up? Ooh, oh, he sent a cap. A cap? A no baseball ca cap. No cap? Thank Roger you, Beaver, what's up? Love you, Roger Beaver. We're doing. Uh... Oh, we sent a basketball. Oh, lots of basketballs. Oh, basketball! Yes, Check sir. Check it out. <laughs> that deserves. <laughs> that deserves more free bird. Dalton didn't play basketball. If you can't tell. <laughs> Your boy <laughs> William. <laughs> Instead of what's his face DJing and locking in, you're just gonna play the guitar. And we're gonna lock him in. I know that's gonna make for a really great podcast listening. I mean, they know what they're getting. Look, here, people don't really want to see you. They want oh. to see it. <laughs> hey, Roll Tide Five. Roll Tide. Here. You, Instead of saying we're locking in every time, roll tide, you're locked into the zone. <laughs> <laughs> that was weak. <laughs> Give me a drop D. <laughs> That's what I want to hear. What's up, John Zass? John Sass, you're locked into the 
zone. <laughs> it's like you hit a wrong note. It's like a SpongeBob note. <laughs> Sounds like Bikini Bottom. That's my. This is my go-to country leg. If you're listening uh, right now, if you, look. If you're listening right now and you're not on video or whatever, this is the only lick you need to learn to play in a country man. It's That's the, equation. Just and you. You don't have to. You know you do. <laughs> I think TikTok is better because of this camera view. Probably, yeah. Nathan Petrie. Petrie. What's wrong? What is the YouTube camera view not good? I don't know what YouTube looks like. Uh, Facebook is the one that's over there. That one's good too, I think. It's just that it's a different angle. Like it's. Everybody only wants to watch. Well. That's good. TikTok can be my portrait live. Yeah. And that'll be my landscape live. There you go. What is that one doing? Oh, that's Facebook? That's the YouTube one. Oh. Or face? Face, Facebook and YouTube are the same thing. Oh. What about the Go oh, GoPros for the Spotify? Stuff? For my, my clips. Guys, we're taking requests uh, in the shred shed and we'll... James Shink. James Shank, you're... Oh, I meant compared to the last TikTok view. Yes, absolutely, because the last one was like Dalton's crotch, and then there was a mic in front of Dal little Dalton singing. <laughs> oh, yeah. Hey, DeMarc Hassan. Hey, DeMarc Hassan, you're locked into the zone. <laughs> Please pick a different chord. What do you, lower? Or, lower. Here, I'll do the highest one you can do. <laughs> DeMarc Hassan, you're locked into the so, <laughs> no, okay. Ryan, you think you should go lower? I think so. Look, this you is gotta believe one. You're locked in. That was good. I like that one. <laughs> that one was perfectly in tune. Yeah. I think if you're a guitar player, I think that's called a double stop. And what you what's hard about it is you really gotta learn that if you're just listening, the bend. Because if you're like, you don't want to. You don't want to be playing the show. You got a little belt, a little buckle bunny looking at you. You're going to get lucky tonight. And then you hit the. Oh, that actually sounded good, too. Well, you don't want to do. Fave 219. <laughs> Fave 219, you're locked into the zone. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Well, here, look. This, this is the only thing people seem to like. <laughs> we'll just. Every time you put it up. It was just everybody starts to watch. Yep. <laughs> I'll just, we should do a live. I'm going to get all of my guitars and lay them on us. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> but which one's your favorite? Here, look, we'll trade it up to them. I don't, I'm not getting up. My head's hurting and I'm comfortable. You don't have to get up. I mean, look, I got all the toys. Full access. Honey, do we do, what did we do Friday? Friday we sat at home. Oh, yeah, we didn't do We watched a movie. There we go. That's what I like to hear. We did? What movie did we watch? We watched... It was something... Schindler's List? <laughs> I actually got that for Christmas one year. I asked for it. Oh, really? Yeah, on DVD. Um, we watched something on... Was it that movie that was like on the top? Uh, he was like in a train? Oh, it was the one that uh, May May suggested. Yeah. What's the name of it? It's it's really popular on Netflix right now. They're like stuck in a train and they're trying to. And it's got uh, who's the main character? Brad Pitt. No, um, it's Brad Pitt. Oh, it is Brad Pitt. Yeah. Yeah. Bullet Train. That's it. Thanks Bullet for Bullet Train. Yeah. That. Oh yeah. That well, he they have he's like a, um, he's hot. Did you hear Avery laugh? <laughs> <laughs> Avery. Um, yeah, he has to, like, go get that suitcase or whatever. And then the girl that played Gypsy Rose, isn't it? Yes. It was borderline silly, but it is it... Hey, hubby, daddy, uncle. Hubby. Wow. <laughs> hubby, daddy, uncle, you're locked into the... I have one of those, too. His own. A hubby, <laughs> daddy, uncle. <laughs> yeah. A hubby, daddy, uncle. Is that me? Yeah. No... <laughs> Earl Shreds is my hubby daddy uncle. Hubby daddy uncle Shreds. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Um, yeah, the bullet train was very, like, um, 
It reminded me of the Kingsman movies. Yeah, I haven't seen those. Oh, you got to watch the one uh, with Elton John. That's Megan and Mason told me to watch that, and it was awesome. Oh, so I watched them all. There's like three of them. Elton John. Elton John's in it. And the the kid that plays Elton John in Rocket Man, he's the main character, and then Elton John just happens to be in it. This is from a long time ago. And then, like, like you know, ten years down the road, that kid, the main character, it plays Elton John in Rocket Man. That must have been how they met. Yeah, it's awesome. Hey, I almost learned Rocket Man on the piano today. Nice. I can't wait for that one. Have y'all seen Vacation Friends on Hulu with John Cena? No. Is that something we should watch? Is it funny? Always good down for a good movie. Cody English 5. What's up? It's hilarious. Okay, cool. We'll have to watch it. I like John Cena. It's John Cena. Is he this one? John Cena. That's John. That's what. That's what he does. I don't know what you're doing. You can't see me, John Cena. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Can't see. Can't see John Cena. If that's not him, I need to know. Did you ever see that video of John Cena speaking perfect Chinese? <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, hold on. You have to see this. Look, I got this thing out for y'all now. I'm gonna... It's the only thing that gets me views. I'll leave it right here. That's my favorite one too. I know. I... I, yes, that's him. And he put the little hand. Yeah, okay, see it. He, uh, he, like, said Taiwan. With, he, like, acknowledged Taiwan as a country in a movie or something. So he had to. Uh, oh, I think I know what you're talking about. He's pretty funny. Wasn't he in um, 21 Drump Street or something? Uh, He's, like, the drug dealer. And he's wearing like a vest, and he like shows them all these. Of course, things. it's not gonna be on freaking YouTube. Hi, Jeanette. Is it Twenty One Jump Street? Of oh, yeah, I think it was. Everybody was in Twenty One. He wasn't the main character though. No, that was uh, Channing Tatum. Dude, the freaking man! They got it so, so blocked. Why? Because they don't want you to see him speaking Chinese. <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> it's video. like an ad. He has hair. What's up, G Man? <laughs> John Cena really loves Logan Ma chili sauce. I, I did. Mean, I didn't know that John Cena had hair. I thought he shaved his head. That looks like some uh, that someone put that, some hair. On. No, that's that Rogaine thickness <laughs> stuff. It is pretty I mean? thick. So yeah, John Cena casually speaks Chinese. Apparently, John Cena. Ha, <laughs> John Cena. <laughs> you seem like my favorite sound. John Cena. I think that it's because the WWE, the WWE. Country the, versus metal. What's up? Country versus metal. You're country versus metal. You're in the shred zone. Or <laughs> you're locked into the zone. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Look, this one's a little higher. Save me, country versus metal. Look. I can't remember his name. Wow. <laughs> We're going back to freeware, guys. Always. Here you go. We'll just skip to the part. Bow, bow. Play Ain't Finger? Talking About Love. That's oh. one of my favorite Van Halen songs. Right? Give me the pick. Give me a pick over there. It's right there. I'll do it for. Who said that? Kitchen. Oh, kitchen. Hi, go. Mark Hill Douglas. Here you go, Ryan. Oh, yeah. Ain't talking about love. <laughs> you know it's rotten to the core. <laughs> Ain't talking about love. That's one of my favorite Van Halen songs. Yeah, that's the goat. That is not the, my favorite, but it is one of my favorites. 
Oh, you, what is your? Look, that's a good podcast topic. What's your favorite Van Halen song? Um, it would have to be. <sighs> Now you got me. Oh, look, Ryan sent goggles. Thank you, Ryan. I'm going to make sure I get there. Oh, yeah. Okay. What's, what is it? I'm about to have to go look it up because, you, uh, you know, my brain's not working. My, my brain don't work no more. Shout out if your brain don't work anymore. Dude, thanks for the goggles, Ryan. Again, if you're listening on any of the TikTok, YouTube, or Facebook, this is the Shred Shed Podcast. What's your favorite one? Drop Dead Legs, baby. I was about to say that. or You like Pound Cake, too, though. That's number two, but Drop Dead Legs. Uh, she got legs. I like... Um, oh, Live Walk Stand. That's a good one. Uh, Dancing Out of Way? Mm-hmm. Dance, dance. I think it's good. I would say talking about love is probably top three for me. I wish I used to know how to play. Oh, I got it. Unchained. That's Kitchen's favorite. Yeah, that's a good oh, one that's too. the metal one. Yeah. It's, I, Stone Sour also covered Unchained, and it's amazing. Oh, I have to check that out. And then, ooh, baby, baby. <laughs> Sounds just like it. With the love with me. Split Cook Farms. It's on iTunes. Oh, I thought you were playing Unchained at first. Dance, 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 not away. The Stone Tower versions on iTunes? Sweet. I'm going to check it out. Of Unchained? Yeah. I know. That one is, but I don't even, I don't even, touch. I don't, I can't dare touch that song. That was like the, the first heavy metal song, you know that? Really? Did not know that. Dude, yeah, that came out, but I think that album came out in like 78. Yeah, I looked it up a while ago. Imagine how, how heavy that shit was. You've been listening to like disco music and then Daddy Daddy Eddie comes and just... 81. Running with the Devil. I also like... Panama. Hit the ground running. That's a good one. They're all good. I like dreams. <laughs> Nothing stays the same. Uh, no, 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 no. Dreams is. No, I was just nothing is the same. It looked like alien. Mm -hmm. it, oh, that's mm -hmm. when when love comes walking in. Yeah. When love comes walking mm -hmm. in. That's a good one too. Oh yeah. Ice Cream Man. Ooh, that's the daddy one. Hi, unapologetically Emmy. Emily, sorry. Emily, you, you are locked into the zone. <laughs> <laughs> Please change that. Okay, I'll go one up. You're locked into the zone. <laughs> it's even worse. You're locked into the oh, zone. <laughs> Ew, gross. I could give you the... That's, what, that's the Merle Haggard one. <laughs> Well, I spent all my time just running through the young and I was yelling. Kitchen, what's your favorite Kiss song? Ooh. I just found my t-shirt from when Kiss and Def Leppard went on tour. It was like Kiss's 40th anniversary tour in 2014. Probably like their final tour, number 27, too. <laughs> Wait, was that final tour number 18 or 19? <laughs> <laughs> it was their 40th anniversary tour. 
Um, but it was with Def Leppard. And I, me and Shelby traveled to see them in, like, Houston and Austin. <laughs> back to back? Made for loving you. I was made for loving you, baby. That's a good one. Yeah, that is a good one. Isn't that... Didn't Gene write that song? I think so. I mean, obviously. Or Detroit Rock City. Yeah, that's a good one. That's a Gene Simmons song. What is... Uh, how does Detroit Rock City go? Detroit Rock City. Um, uh, My favorite is uh, Dr. Love. I like Dr. Love and... What is the one we hear on 96.5 all the time? Kiss? Yeah, it's... Uh, Something it's kind of like Hellraiser or something like that. Um, it's we hear it all the time. I don't know. They <clears throat> all it's... most Kiss songs sound the same. <laughs> I do love Kiss. Like they have some jams, but Made for Loving You is a bomb. Hi Steve, eight thirty six. You locked into the zone. <laughs> <laughs> Um, Bobby and Walter for. Okay, here's a here's my computer generated. What? <laughs> Jamie, here's the top ten things that have been in the music industry this week. Oh God. Drake's album surpasses one billion streams on Apple Music. Unimpressed. Oof. Madonna cancels. Tour due to coronavirus. No one cares. Wait, the, hang on, stop for a second. Uh, Ryan has a kiss tattoo on his forearm. It literally says kiss. Is it like in their font? Like, that's badass with the stars and stuff. Ooh, Ryan's I did a real not one. know Ryan that. Ryan's a real one like that. I would do that. I was looking at tattoos today for my forearm. Um, nobody cares that Madonna canceled. Like, I don't care. But you know who. Um, yes, he said yes. Sweet. I did not know that. You know that's who cool. the third artist that Madonna signed in her labels in the 90s. Hang she on. started a label in the 90s. Yeah. The first ar- artist, oh, Alanis Morissette. Uh-huh. Second artist they signed, Candlebox. Oh. And guess who the third artist that was signed? And blew, Madonna blew them up. <laughs> you, um, is it a band or an artist? A band. 90s band? Mm-hmm. Um... Is it someone that I hear Avery talking? Um, train. <laughs> hey, soul sister. No, Deftones. Really? Wow. She saw them at a club or something. Oh. Uh, Ryan said he also has the uh, Angel Icarus and Dimebags guitar on the same arm. The Led Zeppelin Angel. Oh, oh that's sweet. awesome. Yeah, my ex that we will not talk about that also played the drums in the Liberty High School band had uh, the John Bonham symbol on his wrist. I have uh, my middle name. <laughs> Dalton has Earl. <laughs> and then a if you guess in the... Yeah, you can't, you see, can't it. see it. I have a tattoo. If you can guess what this tattoo means, I'll, I'll do something sweet for Ryan you. Ryan said, where does that do that? Dude, I don't know. He, like, fell off the earth. But let me tell you something that's even funnier. Um, you know, people always – I haven't seen him since high school. <laughs> I haven't either. He married a girl. Guess what her name is? Her name is Courtney. <laughs> he has the same name as my brother. I know. I've heard this story. <laughs> I know, but Kitchen knows him, so it's even funnier. Was it Ryan? <laughs> <laughs> no. Uh, yeah, he married a girl named Courtney, apparently. He wants to be like Big Bro. Mm. Yeah. Okay, number three is Eminem earns fifth consecutive number one album on the Billboard. Impressed. Number four is Lady Gaga and Ariana Grand- Grande. <laughs> no, I, Ariana Grande collaborate on. <gasps> this is number four. Ariana Grande and Lady Gaga collaborate on a new single. Did they? It's because they're both part of the Illuminati. Okay, BTS breaks YouTube record with on music video. That's a, a K-pop band, isn't it? Huge K-pop band. Um, cool. Hi, Kevin Steele, 93. Post Malone wins 
best rock song at 2020 Grammys. That, that, whoa, Jamie needs to step it up. I like Post Malone. Yeah, so this might be it. old news. Sorry if it is. Sony Music to restructure. Focus on streaming service. Okay. Spotify launches new podcast subscription service. I'm pretty sure this is old. Anyways. Taylor Swift to release Folklore. Yeah, this is old. Wow, they really... Hey, I didn't give it good enough. Hey, if anybody in the chat, I'll ask Chat DP a question. Oh, let me get Chat a... DP? Chat GTP or whatever. Oh, I thought you meant like it's your initials, but it's a chat. It's chat Earl. <laughs> Earl Chat. Earl Phil Chat. Phil 4304, what's up? Phil 3304. So, um, I've been looking at tattoos, like... I, Ryan, who does your tattoo? Actually, I, I feel like I know who does your tattoos. Um, I am looking to get like a half sleeve, but I need someone to like put my ideas together because I can't draw where it's a flip and I want it to look good. I don't want it to be tacky. Um, and I'm like paying homage to my best friend Austin that passed away. Yeah, I thought Glenn did yours. Um, what do you What do you want to get? Um, I want to get like the headstock of Austin's guitar that has his initials in it. Um, uh, go to Paradise in Mont Bellevue. I think that's where I went to get a piercing one time. Um, but I would like to get a like the headstock of his uh, Telecaster. Um, and it has, like, the AWB in it. That's his initials. Um, his dad actually has that guitar hanging up. But I want to get just the headstock, and then I want to get, like, some other things, like, incorporated in it. But I really, like, I've had it in my head a long time. I want, like, the headstock with of his guitar, like, because that's, like, the thing he loved the most. So That would be cool. And I already asked his wife about it, and she's cool. Like, I mean, she said do whatever you want. But, I, nice. like, I just wanted to make sure it was okay. But uh, she thought it was an awesome idea, so. I'm going to get your name on my forehead. Aw. Sydney. Sydney. Hey, do you want to hear one of, one of the craziest stories in rock and roll history from the 1970s or 80s? Absolutely. Is it when uh, it involves Ozzy of, ate ants? No, it involves one of the most famous bands in the world, the Sex Pistols. I haven't read this yet. The story goes that during their infamous U.S. tour in 1978, the band's bassist, Sid Vicious, was arrested for murdering his girlfriend, Nancy Spugan. I think I knew that. The publicity surrounding the incident sent shockwaves throughout the music industry and led to the band's dissolution. I did not know that. Did you know that my name on, like, like my handle used to be Sid Vicious on everything? Uh, that's... But isn't Sid Vicious also, like, a WWE wrestler? I think he spelled it like he spelled your name. Maybe. Oh. You want to hear another one? Yeah. Another interesting story from the golden age of rock and roll involves Led Zeppelin guitarist Jimmy Page and singer Robert Plant. In August of 1975, Page and Plant spent a night in a bush outside of, a lo- <laughs> outside of London where they allegedly wrote the lyrics for the classic rock anthem, Stairway to Heaven. This event has been immortalized as one of the most iconic moments in rock and roll history. Oh, that's like the most iconic song, so. And this is 100% fact. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely, uh, we're being <laughs> totally fact-checked in real time. You can 100% trust this, this information. That's, yeah. I support this. Um, does Paradise, can you, like, get them to... Can, can I call them and get them to draw stuff? I feel like I'm that type of person that, like, I would ask somebody to draw it and then, like, take it somewhere else, like, because I can't commit. Like, I'm really bad at committing to, like, permanent things like that. Mm-hmm. He said most definitely. Okay, cool. I just don't want to be gaudy, you know? Like, I'm, I, I mean, shading is nice, but I don't want, like, all the, like, background stuff and the, I don't know, like, I'm just, I'm not like most people. I don't want it to be, I don't want it to be. Are you censoring (laughs) yourself? (laughs) What the? (laughs) (laughs) I am going to record that as a sample and put it in all the cuts. Please do it. Hey man, you can just write off. (laughs) What the? 
are you talking about? <laughs> I think I'll do that kitchen. I actually was gonna reach. I was gonna post on Facebook like my friends of like like my idea. Like, hey, I'm gonna get a tattoo to honor one of my best friends that passed away. He was a guitarist. Blah blah blah. If any of my friends are like decent at drawing, like I think it would be awesome to have like someone I know draw it versus just like some tattoo I artist. I my chat. Hey, I bought really one. Yeah, get the bot to draw me one. But I thought it'd be cool to have like I have friends that can draw. You have friends. I have Facebook friends. I have oh. like three thousand of them. <laughs> hey, I I hit sixteen thousand yesterday. Really? On Facebook. Nice. Hey, if you'll already know it. If anybody in the chat can guess this lick, what song is it from? <laughs> you know the song. <laughs> you play it all the time. One more time. <laughs> Time. Oh, run. of course, Kitchen got it. My mom coming home. Oh, I knew you would, Ryan. You're the goat. We used to jam the. <laughs> oh, we used to we used to jam the ever living <laughs> out of that song. Almost said a bad word. There. <laughs> almost got kicked off for cussing. <laughs> <laughs> no, we used to like anytime that song would come on, we would turn it the. Up. <laughs> God. Hey, you would turn it to what up? I would turn it to. <laughs> Stop <laughs> it. Oh my hey, God. TikTok. I know you how much. I know. How much... They're going to like boost you because you're playing the sounds of their people. I am a TikTok. I love TikTok. <laughs> Instant man. I am not culturally appropriating in the slightest. Please don't get mad at me. Oh my gosh, that was funny. <laughs> Reminds me of Beverly Hills Ninja with Chris Farley. What? Yes. I don't remember that. Either. What? Hey, country versus metal again. What's up? Dalton was playing uh, Freebird on hey, his guitar. Patrick, if you can guess the song, oh, he's going to look in the chat. I think he is off. Damn. We should inv- I, TikTok has a thing where you can invite people to come on live with you. Mm, I know. That would have been cool. Beverly Hills Ninja, Chris Farley, like from SNL. He said, I'm here. What's up? Hey, Sorry, I thought you went away. <laughs> what? Guess. Dang it. What's, a, what's another one? Don't look in the chat. <laughs> what song is it from? Tell me. Don't look in the chat. Don't look. Don't look at it. Oh my gosh. You should be lame. Fine. Okay. We'll go back to. <laughs> Here we go again. We're doing a three hour free bird on loop. And Dalton's singing the solo and just playing. <laughs> Oh, he said Bon Jovi. Okay, that sounded, <gasps> it did sound like the beginning oh, of Bon Jovi, not gonna no. lie. Which, what Bon Jovi song would that be? <gasps> One in Dead or Alive. No, that's... The beginning? That's what it sounded like. There's only one song where... Yeah, but you have to wait for that second lick to know what it is. But I could see where he would think it was How bon does Jovi. the beginning of Bon Jovi go? Oh, oh. OMG, it's Ozzy. Yes, it is. No, lower. Alma, I'm coming home. Yes. It's one of our faves. There it is. Oh, God. do I remember it? <laughs> That's my favorite. Lemmy has writing credits on that one. Does he? Oh, my mom coming home? I get, yeah. That's cool. That is cool. I didn't know that. Rest in peace. Yeah. Oh. Uh, this whole episode is dedicated to uh, Jeff Beck. If anybody 
I guess we didn't really make that clear. We we kind of did a whole like Jeff Beck specialty hour. Yeah. Poor poor dude. Bacterial meningitis. Oh, that's sad. Um. <laughs> Richie Sambora is my favorite guitar <laughs> player, guitarist. I yeah. know that's probably like people are probably gonna hate on me for that, but I just. I love him. Hey, if you go listen to the solo on Hurricane, it might sound a little bit just like the... I gave him some some influence. You were with me the day that I pretty much can't stole it. We were listening to Wanted Dead or Alive in the car, and I was like, looking for the solo for Hurricane. I couldn't figure it out. And I was like, oh. He just got a, a good... I don't know. I like his tone. I like what? And I just like Richie Sam. Does anybody know that? I can't even play it now. Oh no, you lost it. You lost your talent. How does it start? I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> the solo to hurricane. Dun, 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 dun. Richie is very underrated. No. I agree. I um He doesn't get the recognition he deserves. Dun. He's like um, the Wish version of Slash. <laughs> oh, and then the, not in my opinion. But. Hey, the Wish version uh, of Slash. Like if you were to, like look at him, you know, like in his prime versus Slash in his prime. Like they both like Slash wore like the top hat. Like Richie had more of like the wide brim hat. <laughs> he laughed, but they had like the black curly <laughs> hair. Like <laughs> he does, like. Because you don't really see either one of their faces a lot. Like, very mysterious and dark. and Yeah. Richie was way more handsome than Slash. I don't know. I think Slash is pretty handsome, too. Because <sighs> of his chocolate brown skin. <laughs> and his little cutoff shirt. And his huge... <laughs> <laughs> okay. I heard Slash has got a really fat... <laughs> <laughs> okay. And two sets of huge... <laughs> dangling right under that big old <laughs> Richie had Heather Locklear yes yeah Richie was way could have had me but I guess well you're more into bad boys but Richie was prettier I think they're both pretty yeah. my mom Slash is Slash looks like a sea urchin <laughs> my mom is obsessed with John Bon Jovi and like I'm obsessed with Richie Sambora so it works she I'm... she lo- like loves John Bon Jovi she's seen him multiple times I took her last year remember I asked you when to go, and you didn't. And the guy that like was Richie Sambora was insane. He was great. Oh yeah. He's like young, young Richie. Dude. And he was like, he's pretty handsome. Y'all, I tell you, Richie and Slash can eat my butt because y'all are sleeping on my boy Cece. Oh my god. Let's go, Cece. Let's go, Cece. <laughs> Come on, Cece. <laughs> Dude, Cece the Where's it. Brett? <laughs> Where's Brett? <laughs> Give it to him, CC. Oh, he's right there. <laughs> Dude, he killed it. He literally played every note on the guitar. D- uh, okay, yeah, CC Deville. Yes, when we went, <laughs> so we went and saw. Um, it was the Joan. It was like the stadium tour with Joan Jett and Poison and Motley Crue and Def Leppard. And Def Leppard's like my all-time favorite band, and I love Motley Crue. I've seen them like probably five or six times, and Poison too. But I have to tell you that CC. Out of all, everybody that night, he did the best. Fuck yeah. He killed it. And he's like, still looks good. Like, he's like, still ripped. Yeah. I mean, Phil Collin is probably the most ripped out of everybody that was there. But like. Yeah, but he didn't do five minutes of shredding. I mean, he did, but. Not like CeCe. And his dude, his fingers. I agree. I saw the same show. Okay. Were you. I don't know where you're located at. but he's way up north. Yeah, we were at the Houston one and. uh. It was it was insane. Yeah, but remember they like zoomed in on his fingers and he was like doing this. He was like, oh, and they were like powdery yeah. and black. And oh yeah, he chalked up. He his, chalked up his hands, bro. Yeah. That's how you know you're about to shred. And then if you're a guitar pl- if you're a guitar player, and your strap locks are just a hook, like an eye bolt and the hook, you know, I need to do that because you know <laughs> some shit. You're, yeah, you're not playing around. You're coming with some stupid Dunlop strap locks. Uh, he said he was at the Philly show. Man, I bet that was a badass show. Oh, dude, yeah. I wanted to go. I wanted to buy tickets for the next night and go to San Antonio. 
Like that's how. Like that was probably the best night of my life. Uh, I bet the the hard rock scene's still going hard up there in the Northeast. You're lucky, dude. Country versus metal. You're freaking lucky because uh, because you're on the metal version of country versus metal. We got the country side. I know. Well, <laughs> yeah, we are kind of are. Yeah, he's the metal of country versus metal, and I'm the country. Well, I'm just saying, like. But I think that was, that's his thing. Is he did country? No, he's a metal guy but and he, got into the country. Yeah. And I'm a metal gal, and I'm still into the to the metal. Yeah, I'm just here. To, I'm just <laughs> I'm just collecting paycheck. <laughs> <laughs> I have to go listen to country music every weekend. Yeah, we. we I play. get to hear "Friends in Low Places" and "Neon Moon" ten times a month. No, I hate that. Please stop. Hey, pal, brothers, what's up? <laughs> hey, um, is pal brothers? Are they playing it? Blame it all. <laughs> stop! I'm trying to talk. Is pal brothers playing at Steamboat? No, they're in Colorado, but they're not at Steamboat. I don't think. I think they are. Jeff's up there too, dude. All my Miss friends. Miss y'all. Hope you're doing good. Love hey, you. We're doing good too. All my friends are up in Colorado. I'm ready for y'all to. Oh, no steamboat for y'all. Aren't y'all in Colorado though? They're on tour. Yeah, but they're like up north. Like they're not in Texas. Cause they posted today or yesterday. Aspen. See, I told you. Whew, that's nice. Oh, Lucky that's awesome. duckies. They posted that their um their first show back in Texas is gonna be opening night of the Houston Rodeo. At the wine garden. I saw that. Yeah. We're not playing. It sucks. We're playing not uh, there. We're, the address for the HLSR thing I saw was in New Caney. Um, you're playing at like a, a Go Texan group. Oh, so it's like a committee or something. Yeah. Um, I want to see y'all with Cadillac 3. Let's get back on that boat. Are they with Cadillac 3? They have been before. They posted everybody that they've played with in the past, and uh, Cadillac 3 was on the list, and that's like, you know, one of my favorites. Oh, I'll, I'll, I'll go to that show in a hundred million years. I mean, like, the, it was a previous show that they had already played. But if they do it again, I'll definitely... Oh, yeah, I love Cadillac 3. Hell, yeah. I liked when they were Cadillac good... Black still, too. Oh, my God. <laughs> I liked it before they were cool. <laughs> Whatever. I want to see Cece again. Come on, Cece. <laughs> I wish I knew the intro to the freaking Skinny Bob. Oh, yeah, that's one of my favorite. We yeah. will again soon. We're talking with them. Sweet. Well, is we it, support that. Is it so. cold in Aspen? Yeah, it's like snowing. Really? I'm Does it snow in Aspen? <laughs> Dude, everyone. If you want to leave, it's okay. We understand. Everyone is in Colorado. I had depression on Sunday because I wasn't in Colorado. Yeah, Dalton said he was going to buy a ticket to go to Colorado by himself. I would. I miss it. There's not a lot. I mean, there's. He didn't invite me to his trip to Colorado in his head. No, I did invite you. I was going to bring you. Like I had Steamboat. Like the email. I was on the email list so we could get tickets. You've been replaced. Oh my gosh. Look, you know what? The best thing about this, she doesn't talk back. Only, only, I'll say, should I be dirty? <laughs> <laughs> I'm done with this conversation. <laughs> hey, you're really getting on my nerves. Oh my gosh, maybe I should go to Colorado and leave you here. Where, like, some shit all Colorado town in the desert and then non mountainside? I just go to Boulder. Hanging out at the Shining Hotel. Boulder. Yeah, it's right outside Denver. That's where Dog used to live. The what Hunter. are the homeless people doing in Colorado right now? They're in, I don't know, igloos. I've never been to Colorado in the winter. I've only been in the summer. It's always winter in Colorado and summer. No, nah, it was Stanley hot. Hotel in Estes Park. That's where they're playing? I think so. No, they're uh, in Aspen. But Aspen is not Estes. Aspen. Aspen. Sorry, I'm from Huffman. <laughs> I've been to Estes Park. <laughs> really? Yeah. No, Shining Hotel. Yeah, okay, it's in... That's what it's called, the Shining Hotel. Like, it's from The Shining. The oh! Movie. I didn't know the name of yeah, it. Yeah, I was... Li- uh, the... Stanley Hotel. Yeah. In the, Estes Park. The last podcast that Joe Rogan did, he had those YouTube kids that do the horror. Sh- did you listen to that one? Uh-uh. It's good. He had those, like, YouTube horror dudes on. Okay. Uh, did they talk about The Shining? Yeah, Shri- they went to the Stanley Hotel. Uh, I've been, too. Uh, 
Powell Brothers just said they tried to get a room there tonight. So y'all didn't Ugh. get y'all, y'all weren't able to? That'd no have been awesome. Way. It's a it's a nice hotel. They won't let you stay in that one room though, because it's like I don't want to stay anywhere off. in that hotel. This is the demons in there. Ugh. Um I, that's scary. It's <laughs> is it haunted? Oh, it's expensive. He said it's expensive. Yeah, that's any mountain town is expensive. Well, that hotel is like iconic because of that Jack Nicholson movie. Um, but that's not the real play. That's yeah, that's the hotel that they shot that movie in. But it, it's is that a real event? No. <coughs> so the Shining was one hundred percent fiction. As as far as I know, I mean, I could be wrong, but yes, I believe it's. Uh, no, I think it was real. I just know those. And what, is it Winona Ryder? Winona. And it's Winona. Yeah. You're thinking about Twister. Oh no! What's the? Yeah, who's the yes, mom that from was, uh, yeah, Stranger that was Things? Her big break, I think. Yeah, and Jack Nicholson. He's, here's Johnny. Have you ever seen the uh, outtake footage from that? Mm-mm. Or like the B-roll where he's like warming up? No, oh, but it's creepy. Weird. Yeah. Um, I always think of the Jared Leto music video. What's his band's name? Thirty Seconds to Mars. Y'all have a good night, Miss Y'all. I miss you too. Hope to see you soon. See y'all soon. Catch a show. Y'all be safe on the road. Yeah, have fun in Colorado. We're jealous. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> More than jealous. <laughs> Make a snow angel for me. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to f- go to Colorado. <laughs> um, is that her name, Winona Ryder? No, it wasn't Winona Ryder. It was. No, it was. Yeah, you're right. You're um. I don't remember the girl from Twister, her name. Um, you should listen to that podcast. You would know the YouTube channel. It was two young dudes, and they have like they get like 10 million views a video. I watch, I listen to Crime Junkies. That's two young girls. Well, they're not a podcast. They're a YouTube channel. Oh, YouTube channel. No, I don't watch YouTube. It's like those where they just go to haunted places, and they have like the little beeper. And, oh, okay. You know. Yeah. I thought you meant it was like a like a true crime podcast. I don't know why I was thinking that. What time is it? It's 9.20. Oh my, what, how long does it say on the recording over there? Um. Uh, it's on the bottom. I can't The bottom see. right. I can't see. 94? Sure, I don't know. Yeah, 94. What is that, Annette? An hour and a half? Mm-hmm. You want to call on honey? Sure. I didn't think we were, I thought we were going to do 30. Yeah, hour 40 is what we are on Facebook. Um, we did good. You see, you didn't believe in yourself at first. Because just, my brain is just took you, No, it's not, it just takes you 20 minutes to warm up. It's mm-hmm. like you hadn't podcast in a week and you already forgot. <laughs> just got to get warmed up. It's just that I have like a thousand other things going on in my I brain. Mean, I know, because you don't take your medicine. Absolutely, yeah. I that's I know, I can't that focus. is that's a medical condition <laughs> that a metal a medical condition oh. that can be alleviated with with a healthy diet and exercise. I do that. I did ten miles yesterday. Remember, I just told you that. I would walk. I did ten and a half miles actually. Hello, Austin Medina, sixty-two. You're locked into the. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Thank you. If y'all were joining, um, we're gonna get off. It's late, and you know, if we can, if we can have the opportunity, maybe we'll do a live again, another podcast at the end of this week. If not, we'll see y'all next week. I love you all so much. I want to interview Avery on here. Yeah, we could do that. I wanted to do it tonight because she was wound up. She's been funny. I just tell her to come in here. Maybe next week we can do that. Avery. Avery, come here. I hear her talking in her bedroom. She probably can't hear. I could call her on my phone. AJ, go get her. No. Avery! <laughs> Let's ask her about her favorite music. Her favorite song from the mm-hmm. album. You keep talking. I to go grab her. Yeah, I'll do the ad. I think yeah, do your ads. Yeah, we're going to get our special guest for tonight. Uh, but again, this podcast is brought to you by... Uh, the Gulf Coast Drifters, the band that I am a part of, lead guitar player. And this podcast is also brought to you by Tim's Tiny Trucks, located in Huffman, Texas. Y'all go check out the dealership. He's got physical inventory, customized. If you're looking for an alternative 
For four-wheelers, side-by-sides, please hit up Tim's Tiny Trucks and tell them Earl Shreds sent you for free Earl Shreds Tim's Tiny Trucks vehicle. What's going on, honey? Where's the other headphones? I gotta get her some headphones. Um, oh, they're up there. Here, you know, she can just have mine. I don't care. You don't have to plug them in. Just that Do you want to come be on the podcast, honey? Look, come sit over here. on her trampoline. Hey, I'm gonna tell you right now, if y'all have young kids that like to jump on the bed, get them a exercise trampoline. I got everyone. Oh, did it break? Yeah, you're breaking, cracking the wood. Oh, because it's so strong. Oh my gosh. Well. No, what's saying again? Keep it on your phone. Oh, uh, I got the exercise trampoline for Christmas for Avery, and she jumps on it while she watches TV. Look, you see yourself? <laughs> Isn't that cool? <laughs> You're also on YouTube. You're a YouTube superstar. You're a honey. YouTube superstar. Look, you on Facebook. Hang on, you can't really see it. Oh, that one's behind. What? The Facebook. What do you mean it's behind? Because I, I hadn't. Look, there you go. <laughs> Let's go back to TikTok. Oh, the quality's bad. Hey. Avery, what's your favorite music, honey? Uh, what's your favorite song right now? Um, Not all time, just what do you listen to right now? What I listen to right now is mostly your album or Billie Eilish. She does like Billie Eilish. Oh, or my album, The Gulf Coast mm -hmm. Drippers? Yeah. Hey, high five, big doll. <laughs> I told you she was going to say that. That's what I'm talking about. What's your favorite song on the album? Um, probably Hurricane or What Do I Got to Lose? <laughs> hey, that's awesome. <laughs> you like Hurricane? Yeah. Yeah, everybody loves Hurricane. What's your least favorite song on the album? I don't know. <laughs> you don't have one? Yeah, I don't have one. It's not that you don't like it, it's just your least favorite. Ooh, look at that thing. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> look at it. Come here, he wants to be on the podcast too. Come on, Toby. I told you we should have brought on earlier. Come on, Toby. Toby, come here, buddy. I think he's been sick. I heard him like, uh, like Let's see if we can get Toby up here. Come here, buddy. Sorry if you're listening right now. We're trying to get Toby up. I know you don't want to come. Yeah. <laughs> Let me get her. I'll get her some. No, it's okay. We're, we're about to end it. Oh, it's, okay. it's, I just, well, next podcast, what, you can come on and be on for like the whole time. Okay. What, uh, what's your favorite Billie Eilish song? Yeah, that's what I was gonna ask you. Um, I don't know. Yeah, I know, you have a favorite song. What's the song that we listen to together? What's up, Mars? Um, Marcus. What's up, Marcus? You're, Marcus, you're locked, you're locked into the zone. <laughs> we have a special guest on us now. Yeah, what's, we. What's your name? Hey, you gotta tell him. Avery Shreds. This is Avery Shreds. <laughs> <laughs> what's up, Avery Shreds? He said, yo. Um, what's your favorite Billie Eilish song? I don't know a lot of songs. I don't pay attention. To, I, I mostly just hear it. I don't pay attention what it's called. So oh, okay. I always forget. Yeah. She said, let's go. <laughs> she don't care. Um, and you said, what was? do you like What Have I Got to Lose or Hurricane Better on the um, GCD album? My favorite's probably Hurricane. My second's probably What Do I Got to Lose. What's your third favorite? Um, I don't know. <laughs> do you like the guitar solo? Yeah, I do. Do you like eight points on the asphalt? Yeah, I also like that. <laughs> you know that? <laughs> do you dance to it on your, with your karaoke machine? No. What? Do you sing it with no. your microphone? No. I bet you do. No, I don't. Oh, okay. Um, who's your favorite singer? It's Mason or my dad. Who? It's Rado Mason or Dalton. Oh, Mason. Mason. Yeah. He, he, I think Mason sings a little bit better than I do. <laughs> Just a little bit. Yeah. You like Mason better than Billie Eilish? Uh, mm. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> what, about, what about Katy Perry? Uh, they're like my fifth favorite. 
Katy Perry's like your fifth favorite? Yeah, or my fourth. Okay, well, who's like third and second? Um, like Billie Eilish is my second. Okay, so it's Mason, Billie Eilish. Uh -huh, my third is like, I don't know what my third is. That's mostly all I hear. Um, mostly all I did, like, or quest. Do you like, you like Ariana Grande? Um. Like Lady Gaga? No, I don't know if that is. <gasps> You don't know like, mm -hmm. my poker face, my my my, my poker face. That's not no, how it goes. <laughs> that is how it goes. I mostly like Heat Wave. Heat Wave. Heat Wave. Yeah, I don't know who it's from though. Oh, it's a song. Yeah. Called Heat Wave. Uh huh. I don't know it. I don't know. I don't know, know that song. Yeah, I don't know who it's from though. Is it a Katy Perry song? No. No, she doesn't know who sings it. She knows yeah. Katy Perry. Uh huh. Heat Wave. How's it going? I'm sorry, I keep forgetting how it goes. You just keep forgetting. Yeah. I haven't heard it in a while. Oh, okay. Is it on one of your shows that you watch? Mm, mostly not. Mostly not. They do TikTok songs on that. It's always, there's always like two songs and one of them... Is, they're all TikTok songs. No, one of them is like a song that they just play on repeat and they don't talk. What's the little characters? They have little like, um, cat ears. Um, but you know what I'm talking about? They just they just have words at the bottom. They don't actually talk. Um, I was thinking of Blue Wave, but like, no. I don't know what they're called. That's a dog. It's a YouTube show that she watches. Yeah, and they always play that one, that same song over and over again. It's like anime for white people. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it is. Okay, honey. Well, I'm not... We're probably gonna get off next time. We'll have you on. Next time it's just me and Sydney. We'll, or you can be on the podcast whenever you want. What's your favorite food right now? Tell everybody what you've been eating lately. Um, Dino nuggets. Dino nuggets. Dino nuggets. If your kid tells you she doesn't like chicken nuggets, buy them in the shape of dinosaurs because mm -hmm. then she likes them. I literally yeah. said, Do you want some chicken nuggets? And she said, No, I don't like chicken nuggets. And then I said, Do you want some dino nuggets? And she said, Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I love Dino Nuggets. Yeah. That's her, that's her fave right now. They taste different than normal nuggets. I don't know It tastes how. like dinosaurs? Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> Ooh, what's your favorite one? What's your favorite dinosaur? Um, probably, um, I don't know a lot of dinosaurs. So you told me in the car the other night your favorite dinosaur. I did. Yeah, you said it was like a dinosaur. Oh, a Stegosaurus. Oh, a stegosaurus. Stegosaurus. A stethosaurus. A stethosaurus? Stegosaurus. A second story? <laughs> we were also saying words that she couldn't say. Um, mm, I think one was not pineapple. It was, um. We were trying to say parachute. Parachute and, like, I think. Be able. Be able. Bearable? No. Be able. Be able. Available? No, be able. Be. Be able. Be able? No, like, kind of like, I'm be able to say this one. To be able to? Yeah. Oh. Be oh. able to. Oh. <laughs> that's, that's like a lot of words that you just put yeah. together. Yeah, you're just jumbling. <laughs> no, I'm not. <laughs> Can you say remote? Remote. Oh. Yeah, she's got it. Sometimes I say, say come out. It's yeah. kind of funny. Yeah, she said it on purpose. She's been saying it on purpose for a long time. Uh -huh. I say it now. I say come out because of her. Like, if you keep hearing it, it gets stuck in your brain, and then you keep hearing it. Mm -hmm. You just say it. What's the longest word in the world? Um, My mom knows this. My mom knows how to say it. Um, What is it? No. Let's take expialidocious. I can't say all those words. You just did. You want to hear the longest song? You want to, here's the longest word. It is. The longest word in the dictionary is... <laughs> crazy. Wasn't that, that great? I'm pretty crazy, yeah. Every, uh, that hey, was pretty, no. On the next podcast, you have to play us... Um, what's the song you can play? Not Hot Cross Buns? No, not no. Twinkle Little Star. What's the song you play? I don't know. I forgot. Remember, she can play a song. Like, she goes to the toilet or something. Yeah, I don't remember the song. Uh, Yummy. Yeah, but you need to practice it. And you can Twilight, play. Twilight, or something? No. You can play it on the podcast next time. Yeah, that, ooh, we're definitely doing that. Yeah, mm -hmm. absolutely. 
I forgot what it's called though. Okay, this little one needs to get ready for bed too. Yeah, it's way past your bedtime, dude. What is that? It is. It's only 30, 30, 30, 30, no, 9. 9. 34. There you go. It just changed a minute. Yeah, it's four minutes past. Actually, it's like 34 minutes past your bedtime. Y'all stay right there. Don't move. Hold you on. Don't, you don't really have a bedtime, but we do like for you to go to bed kind of early. Bye, y'all. I love you so much. Bye kitchen, bye Marcus. Let me end it on the east. Is it fun?